is up, Wiz Nation Wizards fans. Did y'all miss me? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Cameron Mingo. And breaking news, we finally got a coach. Finally. It took us over a month since we let go of Scott Brooks, but we finally got a guy. Welcome, now, there's Marco DC. Welcome back to DC, Wes Unsell Jr., the 25th head coach in franchise history. Now, this, I think it's my, uh, my sixth, seventh coach as a fan. I've been around Doug Collins, Eddie Jordan, Ed Tescott, who was the interim, Flip Saunders, Randy Whitman, Scott Brooks, and now Wes Unsell Jr. Well, he was on our staff before. He was part of the organization for for uh, over like two decades. He was a uh, he was an advanced scout for, for the Wizards from for eight years. Then he was an assistant for six years when we had A. Jordan and Flip Saunders. He was on the Warriors staff for four years when Steph Curry and Clay was was young. He was the Magic assistant for for a couple years, and then recently we got him from the Denver Nuggets. So, I'm really excited about 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 this uh this movie got here. So, I'm not gonna get long, but I'm gonna get to some of the comments from from Shepard, Taniosis, and the coach. Now, one of the comments I read says, "Wasn't such a I know his dad, you know the the great once and so the late once and so, who who passed away a year ago before we were in the bubble." He said, I know he's up there somewhere smiling and chuckling somewhere. I, I bet he is. Hopefully, Wes and so make him proud. And one, and one of the comments that Tommy said, he said, Ho, he's begging. And they, uh, not uh, The MVP Lee, Jokic, was begging uh, so not to leave. Well, don't worry, Joker. You'll see him again in the season. We are in Denver and D.C., so it's all right. But now, one of the key elements that uh, wasn't said, the one weakness is defense. The defense has been missing since we let go rank women. Because when we had women, we were basically like a top 10 defense in in the, in the NBA. Especially the years we were in the playoffs. These were not in the playoffs. We were always like either in the, the middle, you know, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully, the defense fixes, you know what I'm saying? Because... Because with Scott and Scott Brooks, we were always in the mirror bottom, especially the last two years. We were always like 28, 29, dead last, whatever. And 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 he did uh, had uh, one of the conversations with uh, he had a conversation with, with Brad and Russ. Now they said uh he did say cool. I had great conversation with both those guys, Brad and Russ. I felt like talking to the, I felt like uh I was talking to the same person. They want to be coached. The visions were clear, I say. So, th there's gonna be accountability on this team, cause, cause we need discipline on our team. Cause Scott Brooks, he was not this disciplined kind of coach. He was basically just a, a nice guy. That's what he is. Even during the press conference and all that stuff, he's basically a nice guy. And we ain't had that discipline since Randy Whitman, cause he will call you out. No saying so. Can't wait to see what, what, what see what he does. Now, I, he did say uh. He did talk about Denny Avia, like, this kid has potential. So, hopefully, when he plays in the summer league, cause I know he's all healed up when he had that little, you know, that injury he, he had during the season. So, hopefully, he's all healed up. Summer league, hopefully, we'll see what he got. Cause I can't wait to see what, what he's got under uh, what's on sale because Scott Bros did it, uh, did it using right. But this one guy. The one guy I want to see develop under a uh, one show is Rui Hachimura, and Tom Shepard this this say uh that he he did uh give uh some clips of Rui because he's playing in uh for for Olympics for for for, for the Japanese team he saw some clips and hey, have you seen his clip lately? It's impressive. And he scored at twenty four and like eighteen minutes the first time, and the second time I saw him he had like what nineteen and seven against France. So, year three, Ryachimura, I cannot wait to see, see you shine. Because we've seen teams with new coaches like, uh, like, a, like a member of, what's his name? 
Pascal Siakam from Toronto. I think year three, he had a new coach in the uh, Nick Nurse. And what happened? He flashed. All star right before your eyes and went on to win most of the player. And next year, he became an all star. So, but the one guy, that hopefully, he is young though. I think he's about to be the third year in the league. One of my favorite players. Go, go, Gaffer. Daniel Gaffer. Now, that's the guy. That's the one guy that I want to see develop under uh, Wes Unsell is Dayon Gaffer. Because he has been working on his ju- jumper. I've, I've seen lately he's working on his jump shot, his little outside game. Because all year, he's, his basic points were in the paint. He didn't shoot any outside jump, jump shots. So, and we'll see what, what my man TB, the Thomas Bryan, went back in injury. Because he, he's, he's, still, he's still young. This is what, about his what? Third year, fourth year in, in the league. Next next season, I know season it it did kind of cut cut short. So, but I'm excited. I'm really excited about uh, our, our coach and uh and West Unsell. Cause, and get this, he is the first African American coach we had since Eddie Jordan. I'm like, really? I'm like, that's a long time. That's like twelve, thirteen year, years ago. So, West Unsell. Welcome home. Well, and and one more tweet before we uh get on out here. He is the first rookie head coach that we had since 2000. I can't remember the name was, but I wasn't a fan. So, my first head coach was Doug Collins when we had my, my, Michael Jordan. So, so we'll see what does because the rookie coaches see what happens. Could we see rookie coaches succeed? Look, uh, uh, th- three coaches I've seen succeed. Steve Kerr from the Golden State, T. 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 Lou from Cleveland, and Nick Nurse from Toronto. So, we will see. And I think I believe are like five out of seven head coaches who got the job are basically rookies. I think Chauncey Billows from Portland, that kid Jamal Mosley from Orlando, uh, Emmy Udoka from Boston. So there's there's a lot of uh, new names out there. So and. But I gotta be honest though, real quick, before we head out, um, real quick, uh, we uh, because before we uh had a coach, I was basically patient and impatient. So I'm like, when are we gonna get coach? Because when are we gonna get coach? When are we gonna get coach? When are we gonna? I'm like, pull the trigger, Tommy Shepard. But they understand it does take time. Cause we were we were uh we were very very patient. Get time when when uh when we hired Shepard the GM it took us time to like when we get a GM because he was basically the interim GM when we fired Ernie Grunfield. so and I mean and it took him to August or September to to get the job so Tommy Shepard keep doing your thing man keep doing your thing and we had like eleven like fifteen interviews mostly with assistant coaches and I'm thinking I'm like can y'all just call me real quick call me so I can get a job so so. It's all good, man. It's all good. So, that's all. And before we head out, I got to tell you this. Now, uh, past two seasons, I do like my top five draft choices, right? Because the draft is next week, right? So, I'm not going to do it this year. Because since we met, since my wins were in the pilot this year, I said, forget it. If we were in the lottery, then I would have easily done it. So, we're going to wait till next week. When, when the draft starts, so can't wait to see y'all because it's good to be back on my show again. So that's it, Wizards fans. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all know the deal. Follow me on Twitter at Camingo. See me on Instagram. My Wiz page on Twitter is at Wiz underscore Nation. Instagram, Nation underscore Wiz. Thank y'all. Peace. Wizards family, this is Wes Until Jr. What an incredible feeling it is to be back here in the DMV. Coming home has been a full circle moment for me and my family, and I'm looking forward to creating a new chapter in Wizards basketball, one that will make you the fans proud. Let's get to work.